welcome back to my channel. It's Cora from The Decorating Housewife. It's so good to see you. I hope everybody is doing well. Today it is snowing like crazy in Toronto. Uh, we have a lot of snow coming and uh, we don't know what's going to be, if it's going to go away or what. So anyways, I'm here to do a video and my video today is going to be a little bit about everything. Some Dollar Tree stuff, some vintage stuff and a few things that I picked up here and there. So stick around and I'll show you what I picked up. So we went to the Dollar Tree and my daughter uh, noticed these shampoo and conditioners and they're by Kind Natured. And these are uh, vegan and uh, apparently they retail for about $16 and maybe more on Amazon. And uh, these are really, really good. She says, mom, you gotta get these. And so I did, I picked up the shampoo and I picked up the conditioner. And uh, this is the 250 ml size and it's in the avocado and olive scent and it's for dry hair in need of everyday moisture and it's 97% natural, 100% vegan. So, uh, you know, why not? They smell really nice too. So I'm gonna give these a try. And I love e.l.f. products and uh, at the Dollar Tree they had these e.l.f. makeup remover cleansing cloths and uh, there's 20 cloths in here. I've never tried these before. So I picked that up. Actually, I picked up a couple, so I'll let you know how these work. And then I saw these uh, hydrogel under eye masks and these are by Danielle Creations and it says fine lines no more and anti lines. And there's six pairs in here and it has retinol, collagen and rose water. And I really like the packaging, it's so cute. So I'm gonna give these a try. Have you guys seen these? Have you tried them? Uh, leave a comment if you have. I like to like to know if these work, if they actually work. <laughs> and uh, it says here, infused with retinol, collagen, and rose water to help improve elasticity and smooth fine lines and wrinkles under eye areas. Also helps to nourish, moisturize, soothe, brighten, and firm. The soft gel-like texture adheres gently to the delicate under eye areas and delivers intensive treatment to skin. So how to use, you apply to clean dry skin directly under the eyes, leave for about 20 to 25 minutes, carefully remove the patches and dispose. Using fingertips, lightly massage leftover essence until fully absorbed. The other day I was looking up um, the top five uh, setting sprays uh, after you apply your makeup and um, the e.l.f. Uh, Magic Matte Magic Mist and Set came up and it was one of the top five. I couldn't believe it. And uh, it's very well priced. It cost me uh, $5.99 here at the Real Canadian Superstore. And so I picked myself up a uh, setting spray and here it is and it's by e.l.f. And this is the 2.02 uh, .02 fluid ounce or 60 mil size. And uh, I did try it and I do like it. It does leave my makeup on all day and it also has a, like, a very nice finish to it, like a really, like a matte glowy finish to it, and I like that. Yesterday I was out with my older daughter and uh, she stopped at uh, Sephora and uh, I went to another store while she was at Sephora and she surprised me with a beautiful uh, liquid lipstick and it's uh, one of my favorites and it's by Anastasia. And I'm wearing it right now and it's in the dusty rose color. I'll show it to you. And there it is, beautiful packaging, very nice color. Um, it stays on your lips all day. You can eat an apple, you can drink your coffee. I mean, it just stays until you take it off. This liquid lip color uh, retails for about $26.50 at Sephora in Canada. Uh, so uh, that's how much it costs, but it is well worth the money because it will last you all day um, it is a little bit drying, but I don't mind it. But if you if it really bothers you, just add a little bit of lip gloss and you're good to go. And then on Amazon, I ordered myself uh, an Avon perfume and it's called Little Black Dress. Um, I have a hard time trying to find it in the Avon catalog. Uh, maybe it's just not available right now, 
but um, I did find it on Amazon and this is the Eau du Parfum and I just love the packaging. It's the 50 mil size. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? So elegant in the black and gold. And uh, I'll show it to you. It's really, really nice and it smells beautiful. There's the bottle. Isn't it gorgeous? Sorry, you can see all the fingerprints here. I used it. But uh, yeah, it's just a gorgeous bottle, nice to display on your vanity tray. So I'll give you a little bit of information on this perfume and it's called Little Black Dress and it's an oriental floral fragrance that's versatile and stylish from day to night. It's a striking top note of sparkling Italian lemon oil flowing into luxurious jasmine with a base note of sophisticated sandalwood and this costs me $24.44 on Amazon.ca and it's the 50 mil size. And I love wearing it. And then I went on to uh, another website called FragranceX.com and uh, I ordered myself another vintage perfume and this one is called Windsong by Prince Machabelli and it's an extraordinary cologne natural spray in the 2.6 fluid ounce or 76.8 mil and there's the box isn't that charming with the birds the florals so pretty I'll show you the bottle so here's the bottle isn't it pretty and it has windsong written at the on the cap if you could see that but uh, I noticed that a lot of the perfumes in the um, in the 80s the 70s the 80s um, were dark in color, like a dark gold color. And uh, I find that interesting how they're all uh, relative, I guess because they're all colognes really. So I'll give you a little bit of information on this perfume. Okay, I'm going to read this to you. Uh, this says, uh, Wind Song by Prince Machabelli. Uh, it was launched in 1953. The top notes are coriander, tarragon, mandarin orange, neroli, orange leaf, citruses, and bergamot. Middle notes are carnation, polysander, rosewood, cloves, ylang ylang, rose, jasmine, and orris root. And the base notes are benzoin, cedar, uh, sandalwood, vetiver, amber, and musk. And uh, this retails uh, on fragrancex.com in Canadian dollars for $18.95, and it's the 77 mil size. And uh, I do love the smell of this. Just brings back memories. And... Uh, yeah, it just smells beautiful. I love it. And speaking of vintage, I have something very special. Uh, I was at my mother's uh, the other day and uh, I asked her if she had anything old, like from the 60s. And uh, she gave me this beautiful evening purse that my dad gave to my mom uh, in the 60s. And uh, I think it's gorgeous. And here it is. It's all beaded in glass pearls and sequins and I love the shape I just love this bag and it has the uh, silver chain and then the clasp here and it has also some rhinestones in there and inside is is just like satiny and very very pretty very elegant I just love it. I had to show you. I love anything old and vintage. It just, there's some side, uh, the label says that uh, it's created by Tilly Fashions of Canada, 100% handmade in Hong Kong. And a lot of these uh, evening purses were made in Hong Kong back in the, um, I guess in the 50s and the 60s, 70s. And uh, what I like about it is um, that it does have the chain so you can use it uh, with the uh, chain or you can use it as a clutch and you can just simply hide the chain in the bag and then use it that way. I just love staring at it. Look at the beautiful beadwork and this is in great condition. I mean there's no tears, there's no rips. Uh, it's a little discolored but it is an ivory color and uh, I do love it. So special, so pretty. Used for evening bags, uh, for a wedding, for parties, just so pretty. I wanted to show you what my mom gave me uh, back in the 80s, and this is this beautiful um, silver classic center, 
Classic Center Stone Real Crystal Compact Mirror. And it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful detail here. And then there's this button that just, if you push, it'll open up. And there's the mirror. How pretty is that? Very compact, very elegant, stylish, and uh, nice to put in your vintage little purse here. But I think it's just beautiful and it's so nice to have in your purse. I just love the design, all the rhinestones here and the leaves, just gorgeous. Actually, my mom has been spoiling me with all these nice things that she's been giving me. And uh, the other day we went to, actually last week we went to Winners and um, she saw these beautiful earrings and uh, she wanted them for herself, but then she changed her mind and she says, you know what? I'll give them to you. I know you like them and I do love them. They're by Stella Picciotto and uh, they're Italian, I'm assuming, and they are sterling silver and these are gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? I love the shape. I love the stone. Just gorgeous. And I forget how much she paid for these. I think these were about $25. I'm not too sure, but I really do like the box as well. I love that turquoise color. Very nice. And then I was at the Real Canadian Superstore, uh, and that's a type of grocery store here in Canada where they sell, obviously, food, and then they have, like, uh, household items, and they have makeup, skincare, clothing. And so they had a lot of sale going on at the Joe Fresh uh, area. And that's where they sell all their clothes and their uh, accessories, purses, handbags, um, everything actually. And um, I saw these bags, these Argyle uh, embossed uh, tote bags. Aren't they beautiful? This uh, Chanel brooch here, I just added this to the bag and it just gave it more of an elevated look. And uh, it's a very pretty brooch actually. I got this on Etsy and uh, I just decided to, you know, attach it here on the bag and that my camera got cut off. Uh, I was just going to say, um, I want to show you the inside of the bag. So there's like a, very, there's a clip here that almost like a magnetic clip and then uh, inside is, you know, pretty spacious. And uh, this retailed originally for $39 and I got it for $26.94 and uh, it also came in a uh, like a tan color as well and I might go back and uh, get the, the tan purse as well but I, I like the black and uh, you know it doesn't get dirty as quickly as a lighter lighter bag but uh, I do love it very very pretty very stylish and if you're interested in the uh, Chanel brooch, uh, they do have them on Etsy. And uh, this is where I got this one. And uh, they have like different, different styles, different colors. But I really like this pearl uh, detail on this one. And uh, it's quite nice. And then I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing. And can you believe I got this black t-shirt at the Dollar Tree? And I got all these beads, uh, these self-adhesive beads at the Dollar Tree as well. And look what I did. I just decided to embellish my t-shirt uh, with a little bit of the beads. And I think it came out pretty cute, actually. I don't know how I'm going to wash it. I'm probably going to wash it by hand <laughs> very carefully because uh, I don't know how long these are going to last on here. But how cute. I mean, you can just change it up with any color you like, really. But I, I went with the clear and the pearl and uh, some of the rhinestone uh, hearts here. And I think it looks so cute. Well, that's my video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a comment and uh, like it. And uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I would love to have you um, as part of my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so everyone have a great day and uh, like I said leave me a comment I read all my comments I enjoy hearing from you hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you soon bye for now